Hi, this is George at PaintReproductions.com. Working on the bridge at the Argentile by Monet. I wanted to go over painting some of the water. Uh, so I've kind of got some of it started where I've got the shadow of the building in. Uh, previous videos I showed you how I did the background. I'm going to take a little excerpt from how I'm doing the water here to show you how I get that finished, that finished Monet style or that Impressionism style. Uh, first thing is if you haven't watched a previous video, basically it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, we're working darks to lights. So I've got that nice messy limited palette going. I've mixed my blues, I've mixed my green. If you notice here, there's that yellowish brown color. It's a little yellow, a little brown, different tones and shades of it. All different colors mashed up into here. Get that nice messy palette so I can pull from it. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the iPad up on the top and I'm just grabbing those dark areas and I'm doing a lifting and dropping. And as I work forward, I'm, I'm using more and more paint. As it's toward the back, I'm, I'm using less paint. So right now I'm getting that kind of grayish, brownish yellow in there, smear around. And then I'm going to grab some lighter colors. I'm going to drop that over top of it. And I'm going to look for those little cracks where the underpainting shining through. And that's where I'm going to put, throw the blue in there. I'm doing my best not to do any real kind of blending. So when you see me and it looks like I'm blending, I'm actually dragging the paint off the brush. So this lift method is you kind of load the brush and barely touch it on the sides, go back and forth and all different kinds of brush strokes. Okay, I'm steering clear of the mast on the boat because we don't want to lose that definition. If you have to go back, keep reinforcing it, reinforcing it, and then just grab some more of the water. Uh, you want to avoid trying to go for it, you know, I mean, you can if you want to try and get it perfect exactly like Monet did, but there's thousands of strokes in just this water alone. So as long as you're, you understand the concept behind it, and when you go to do this on your own, you'll see it's really not that bad. Uh, it's just, you're just doing little bits at a time. So as I'm going across, I'm also touching up highlights. Now, as you see here, I'm toward the bottom of the screen. This is where I'm really lifting it. I'm lifting the paint onto the brush and then just dropping it on the canvas. So I'm not scrubbing in, I'm not blending, and I'm highlighting little bits as I go. So it's basically, picture like a shovel picking up snow. Uh, you'll see when I lift here in a second, but I'm lifting that heavy paint and I'm not smoothing it down. You almost wanna see this texture the closer you get. And it kind of mimics what Monet was doing on his. And it's really hard to see this, especially when you're going off a picture which I've heard this several times and it is basically the truth. If you want an exact reproduction, it's almost impossible to do an exact reproduction without having the original. And it's true because it's a three-dimensional feeling in the paint. There's a heavy lift, there's heavy strokes, there's light strokes, stuff you can't make out. But that's where, that's where we're learning and that's the whole point is when I'm done here, I'm not gonna try and sign this as a Monet. I'm gonna sign this as mine with respect to Monet that uh, it's his concept, it's his composition and his color. And but, and then I'm gonna, you know, show respect for the person who originally painted it and came up with this, this beautiful, remarkable, you know, waterscape with composition. So as you can see, I'm just getting darker. I'm grabbing those darks, throwing over the top, grabbing the darks, and I'll always carry through. So carrying through means uh, I stopped at this sitting at the reflection of the, of the like the, the bridge tower in the back, that pinkish tower, at the reflection of the yellow in the water is where I stop. But you'll see me continue to paint next to the bridge because I'll drop some of the colors in next to the bridge to tie it all together. So right here, I'm grabbing that sailboat area, which is very is a very, very sloppy and very, very dropping kind of fast way it was painted. So to simulate that, you, you kind of got to do the same thing. You got to shut off. If you're like me and you got a little bit of painting OCD, you gotta shut it off. And what you gotta turn on is just your creative side and just have a little fun. Don't worry about making a mistake and don't worry about making it too sloppy. Just don't lose the form. The form is what you're looking for. The, the form is the most important part. Is that, and when I'm talking like, I'm talking about the shape of the sailboat, the person in the sailboat. Don't lose those forms to the water, okay? But you wanna capture those shadows in the water and you're capturing those reflections, we're capturing that in the paint that we're dropping in little bits of pieces. If you can see, there's hardly any stroke. I'll even go up and see how I'm touching up along the shore because now I'm zoomed in on that area, so I see it needs a little lighter. 
So as I look at my palette, I'm like, oh, here's some of the light that goes up there. So as I go, I can kind of touch up that area. I know it's dry. I just hit it in a couple areas. You know, make make my so it's happy. I'm I'm happy with where those trees are. I'm happy the way they match and that color green. And you modify it as you go. So it's a constant moving around. Your eyes are constantly moving around, looking at the iPad, looking at the photo, and then just adjusting where you can and moving where you can. Uh, and you can add paint. Don't try you. Well, I can't really say don't try, but you can drop if you. It's really hard to do the whole, if you were just to put all the blues in first and then all the greens and all the yellow, you're, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're, it's human nature to develop a pattern. And this is patternless painting. There is no pattern to this. So you want to avoid the pattern. So what I do is what I figured out the easiest way to avoid the pattern is you work in small areas and then overlap the small areas. So I'm in this little area right here, but you'll see my brush go back over to the other sailboat. You'll see me move around, go to the land. It's an overlapping of colors. It's not trying to stay focused. I'm not getting laser focus into one area. I'm hitting some painting in some area, then I'm going over to the other, I'm going over to the other. I'll eventually, even with the bridge, you'll see me start dropping paint on the bridge, you know, and the foundations and the forms and all that. It's, it's, part, of, it's part of the painting. It's part of the process is that to keep yourself moving and it gives you a free flow of paint, which is really what you want it to look like. You know, I would love to see this image actually done as a realism to kind of see how a realist would capture this, you know, like a Vermeer capturing this or something like that. But I mean, the beauty of this thing is this painting is uh, the completed version of this hanging up in my living room and it's one of my favorite paintings. Uh, I've seen it reproduced. I, well, I mean, the only reproductions I've seen of it to date so far is a, a couple of students, but this is, I've seen it reproduced and everybody said the same thing. This is a fun painting. So the whole point about this is to have fun while you're painting it. Okay, so I'm gonna let the video run out. You're just gonna see where I'm just emphasizing. I'm just adding color, lifting and dropping. What you're looking at is if you follow the directional of my, my, my brush, you'll see that I am going left to right, okay? Because I am following the patterns of the water. But when I start adding that, those highlights and the greens and the browns, it's all over the place. And that's the free feel. I'm letting the brush do the work. So this time you're actually seeing me paint like a painter where I paint uh, with my hands far back on the brush and letting the brush do the work. I'm leaning back away from the painting. So this technique right here is like a, basically I'm almost trying to mimic a plein air painting. And the more you can mimic that, and instead of feeling like you're looking at a, a reproduction of a painting, just try and picture that reproduction as, a, as, a, as an actual, you're right there sitting there right now and you're trying to capture the stuff as it's happening. So he captured that water at, and to me it's, the water is just amazing how it looks where it's almost captured like it's actually, you can feel the breezy day. And, and that's what we're going for. So again, my name's George with paintreproductions.com. This is the bridge at the Argentel. It's uh, originally painted by Monet. And you can find it on my site and of course is available. I want to thank you for you know watching and thank you for listening. I'm going to let the course uh, play through, kind of help you out here on the edge till the end of it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to me in the site and have a good day.
Thank you. 